2018 increase for all employees, including Dr. Ingram, as discussed in executive session. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Ramsey and a second by Walford. Um, I might steal some of Dr. Ingram's thunder. Um, we have made a lot of rules. Uh, we have done a lot of work financially, and our employees have bear the brunt of doing that work, um, which is going to increase our fund balance. But we don't want to put that money in the bank. We want to put that money in our employees' pockets. Um, so we are very excited for a 2% pay increase, which will make the total pay increase this year 3%. Um, it's going to go back to July 1st, which we're very excited for. Um, thank you, Ms. Smith, for all the hard financial work. Thank you to this board. Um, for keeping their nose down, but especially thanks to Dr. Ingram and the employees who've really worked hard at following all the paperwork for the travel request and going that extra mile and cutting everything down and just going to bare bones. Um, you're the ones who put the money in the bank, and so we're really grateful. We hope that we will be able to continue um, with even more pay raises next year, but hopefully this will jumpstart our pay raises for our employees. Dr. Ingram? Thank you. Uh Ms. Wofford, I, I want to humbly thank the board on the behalf of all of the employees. It is no small feat of this Board of Education uh, to show the fortitude and the resolve uh, to make difficult decisions. And uh, I've often said, you know, my job was, I wasn't here during some of the really uncomfortable stuff. And, and this board has taken a lot of criticism, a lot of hits. In, in my view unnecessarily, but I commend them for being strong to make difficult decisions and do the things that needed to be done to right a lot of wrongs. And uh, they promised from day one that if, uh, you know, when we could start to right our financial ship that they would reward the uh, employees in turn. And that's no small task. So I personally want to thank the board I want to thank every employee in here, regardless of whether of what your role is, from uh, from a, a teacher to administrator to support staff person to cabinet level, anyone in central services. Uh, I really, I personally appreciate it as well, though it was certainly not expected. Um, and and but I thank you for that. I, I would rather that all of our employees be taken care of first. Uh, I think that's the mark of, of, of good leadership, but I, I do thank you for that. But I, I don't want anyone in this audience to underestimate the gargantuan task that this board has faced um, just, I guess, 18, 19 months ago, a couple years ago. Uh, it's been an arduous task. It's not over. Uh, but we can certainly see many day, better days ahead. So I want to, on behalf of all the employees, well, thank you. Uh, it, is, it is really unusual to agree to raise pay in mid-year and then make it retroactive to the beginning of the year. That's, that's a strong move. Thank you on the behalf of all of our employees. I'd like to add a comment. Ms. Comment. Um, I, I've watched this district over the past year and the people that are employed here. And I'm sorry I'm getting a little choked up, but when I say this, that it's no thanks to us. It's thanks to the district. It's thanks to the faculty, the staff, the cabinet. And I look out here and I see the dedication. And that's what it takes. And I see the dedication that you all have for the children in this district. And that's what's important, is, is our children, and educating them and working hard for them. And that's the biggest reason why I ran for the, for the school board, is because I do care. And when I look out there and I see all the caring people who are employed by this school district, it just warms my heart, and it does choke me up. And I just feel like I wish we could do more. I wish 2% was just the tip of the iceberg, and hopefully it will be. But um, y'all are the ones that do the hard work. We're the ones that have to make tough decisions, but 
and we try to do our best to, to recognize your hard work. And I really thank you from the bottom of my heart, because I have a grandchild in this district, and that means a lot to me and to her. So thank you. And thank you, Dr. Ingram. Thank you. Great folks. Any additional comments? We were hoping it was going to get paid before Christmas, but it's not coming in the next paycheck. But it will be <laughs> in January, right? It will be paid in January. So uh, your January paycheck will be retroactive, and then you'll see the 2% increase ongoing throughout the rest of the year. Um, so we are very grateful. Uh, we cannot uh, express it enough. 2% uh, is not enough, but it makes me feel better that with that 1% that felt so measly um, at the beginning of the year, it's a quality 3% raise and just the beginning um, of where we will continue to put our money where our mouth is um, and focus on the very good employees at the school district. So, no other comments. We will call the question. All in favor? Um, the motion is to approve the adjustments to the organizational structure and a 2% retroactive to July 1st, 2018 increase for all employees, including Dr. Ingram, as discussed in executive session. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, yeah, it was seconded. Ramsey, Walker, second. So, all <coughs> opposed, nay? The ayes have it. Congratulations. We'll now move on to student attendance appeals. We'll start with attendance appeals. I'll now entertain student number one. Madam Chairman, I move 